Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and today we're going to have a look at a topic which we hear quite a lot about, and it's people who are having trouble switching from an Android to an iPhone with their WhatsApp, and then they are unable to access their Google backup of that WhatsApp. And of course, people rely on their WhatsApp chats for some of the most important information with friends and family, and of course, business reasons as well. So this video hopefully will fix that for you today. But of course, before we start with today's video, why not subscribe? to the channel give the video a like as well and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we do here on the channel but having said all that let's get into today's video You might have seen a lot of articles and videos online that say, oh, this is exactly how you can get your Google Drive back up from WhatsApp on your iPhone and move all those chats over. But a lot of those videos and articles are a waste of time. And today in this video, we are going to show you exactly what you would need to do to make sure that that works. Let's start with our first method and talk to you about a piece of software that can help called Mobile Trans. Mobile Trans is the first thing that should come to mind when restoring WhatsApp on iPhone from Google Drive, and it is one of the numerous functions that Mobile Trans WhatsApp is actually capable of, and it's one of the many features that you can take advantage of as well. In the realm of transferring data from mobile device to another, this application possesses some truly remarkable features that you might need to utilize, and it is nice and simple as well. And if this sounds good to you, make sure you follow each of these next steps to get that process complete. You need to go to the Mobile Trans website and download the Windows version. After installation, launch the transfer process by selecting the Google Drive to WhatsApp icon from the apps menu. The next step is to locate your WhatsApp backups by logging into your Google account. This requires you to authenticate your identity before proceeding and then after selecting the backup file that you wish to copy onto your iPhone, click the download button to save it. And it's that simple. It's just a couple of clicks and it is nice and easy. But let me show you another method as well. The most important step in this process is to make sure you copy that back up to your Google Drive from your Android device. And because Google Drive is not compatible with iOS, it's just a little bit more complicated to try and sort this process out. But if you've done that, then follow these next steps. First, you need to have WhatsApp software in downloaded and set up on your Android phone. In order to complete the verification procedure, you will need to sign in with your credentials and enter the code. After the application has been installed, a window will appear asking you to restore it whenever you access it. The WhatsApp messages that were backed up earlier have now been restored to that Android device. The next thing that you need to do is move all those chat histories from Android to iPhone. Launch WhatsApp and navigate to the settings menu by tapping the vertical dashed line in the screen's upper right hand corner. From the main menu, select settings, then navigate to chat and select chat history. And then finally, export chat. This will initiate the procedure and then you will just have to pick the data that needs to be transferred. Simply then click on the Gmail symbol that appears in the pop-up window and that will take you to that compose screen. It is impossible to access your prior WhatsApp chat history on your iPhone if you try to restore WhatsApp from Google Drive to your iPhone since the process is simply too hard. Without the need for Google Drive, it is possible to immediately transfer WhatsApp chats from an Android device to an iPhone. The first thing that you'll need to do on this is go to your Android phone and go to the Play Store and just go ahead and download and then sign into WhatsApp on that device. In WhatsApp, you can use their tool to create effortlessly backups of your WhatsApp data on a very regular basis. And it's really simple. So this is what you would do to have to do that. First, go into your WhatsApp and go to the settings menu. From the settings menu, you need to go ahead and find chats. Once inside this menu, just scroll down and you will find that chat backup. You can then scroll to the bottom and just tap on include videos. Then scroll back to the top and just select the button that says backup. And it's that simple, but you won't be able to restore those messages if you haven't already backed them up previously. So you need to go and follow the steps in the last tip that we gave you, but it's nice and simple and only takes a couple of minutes. But before we go, we need to tell you about a campaign that we're running here on Mobile Trans. 
We're running a giveaway at the moment where you can win up to $800 for the first prize. What you need to do is just follow both accounts and leave a comment on this video and you will be randomly selected from Gleam to win this campaign. The first prize goes for $800, the second prize is $100 for two people and then the third prize is five licenses for Dr. Phone and Mobile Trans combined. This is an amazing opportunity and ends on the 31st of December, so that should give you enough time to think what you want to do with winning that money. And that is today's video all done and dusted with a good comprehensive list of ways to back up your WhatsApp data. And of course, the best way there was through Mobile Trans, as you can safely back up your data and easily restore it if something should go wrong. You can use this tool skillfully and you can submit data without any corruption. And if you want to save your WhatsApp conversation, for a more extended amount of time without any problems you can do this by backing them up to Google Drive and simply clicking that restore button at any moment will bring them back and remember if you're going to enter that competition you might as well subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell because once you get a notification that we've uploaded a new video that's like winning a prize in itself and also while you're here like the video as well and if you do all of that we will see you in the next video